This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville and today we're planting pear trees. These are a flowering pear and this is Michael and he's going to describe them for you. Okay, this is a Cleveland pear. My dad did say it has white flowers to it and that's correct. It has green simple leaves to it. The reason that a lot of people like the Cleveland pear is it's got a really nice shape that's dense. They're not the real open wispy type. This is a real dense variety. And it grows very quick for us fairly disease resistant, not a lot of problems, not a lot of things to be concerned with. So we put them in, let them grow. They grow very, very quick for us. For this type of plant, this will probably be like a two to three year rotation on these guys at the most, probably three. And uh, they caliber up well, they have strong branch unions to it. You don't have to worry about the branching breaking like on some other varieties of plants. So strong, everything. We really like this plant very versatile. We have them available. We have bigger ones available at Highland Hill Farm that we dug out that are, you can go there, pick up, and get. If you have any questions, just call my dad. His number is 215-651-8329. Michael, why did you pick this location on the farm? We have a fairly large farm. Why did you pick this location right here for the pears? Well, the reason that we picked the outside row for pear is that when we plant, we always want to try to plant with the fastest growing plant on the outside and the slower growing plants on the inside so that when it's time to harvest you harvest from the outside then you work your way in it's, it's very simple so you don't we never want to put like a copper beech on the outside and have like a weeping willow on the inside because the weeping willow will just way outperform the copper beech so when we do our plant selections on where they go in the field we think about how fast the plant grows in comparison to everything else that we're growing and the fastest thing goes on the outside and the slowest, hardest thing goes on the inside just so that when it does come time to harvest, for sure we'll be able to harvest this. And as we go inside, the, the caliber starts to go down, the rotations on the field go down as you go on the inside. Second reason that we put the pear here is if you notice, this is on the bottom part of the hill, but it's right by the creek. And that uh, pear trees are really well known for their ability to take a variety of soils whether it be wet or dry or acidic or basic or whatever you put a pear in it, it usually takes in whatever soils that you have it's a very hardy plant okay well thank you very much mike and uh, again this is bill and mike at highland hill farm on route 313 in fountainville pa